What is Tixel? Tixel is a complete new energy based device in this field, completely new technology. What does it do? So we have a device that uses energy and confirms energy into the skin to produce heat without using any electromagnetic uh, fields. So no radio frequency, no light, no laser, no IPL, nothing like that. It directly confirms the heat into the skin and we overheat the skin to get results. So what we see here is the Tixel device working. So we have a plate and this plate moves to the skin and impresses little, little dots into the skin. We have a pyramid plate with 81 peaks and these peaks penetrate the skin ultra short. We speak about milliseconds, 8, 10 milliseconds or so. And here this plate transforms heat that comes from the plate into the skin. So we have little micro dots within the skin and heat does something in the skin that we know from all the other devices that we use in the past like IPL lasers and others. But here is a complete new technology as I said. We use the Tixel as energy based device in different indications. The indications are for example to go after little wrinkles under the eyes, these barcode wrinkles around the mouth. So wrinkles are one of the aims we try to overcome. The next thing is that we go after pores, especially within the nose. After cleaning with hydrofacial peelings or others, we can try to get rid of the big pores. Next thing is we use the Tixel to go after scars. The natural history of the, the device, how it's working, is easy to understand. We go after wound healing functions. So we harm the skin by heat and the wound healing does the rest. We do a controlled wound healing, better controlled than with other devices. So we know that the downtime is about 24 to 48 hours. And that's it, a little bit redness maybe, a little bit scaling after it, but not so much. Easier to estimate how long the downtime is, maybe 24 to 48 hours. But this is how the Tixel is working. The Tixel causes like little micro injuries in the skin. And therefore we see afterwards a little redness under the eyes or where we used it. And after some hours to days, a little scaling. So that is what we have, but not so very much problematic. So a little bit ointments, hydro, hydration of the skin is, 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 is a need that we have. And maybe a little bit fat in the first 24 to 48 hours to keep the wetness keep the, the skin in a moistured uh, situation. This is of importance, but that's it, not so much more. And you can do more, more or less everything after such a Tixel treatment. What you should avoid maybe is excessive sports, sauna or excessive sun baths, because this can do additional harms to the skin, which you should avoid. But the rest of it is easy to do, make up maybe also not for the 24, 48 hours, but it's, it's possible. So if you do it on a Friday, on Monday, you can do whatever you want. The amount of treatments that we have to do differs for the indication. Easy to treat are the little tiny wrinkles under the eyes. Easy here because the skin is very thin. The same is true for the uh, tiny barcode files that are out the mouth. They will react very fast, maybe four to five treatments and you are done with it. A little bit more problematic are deeper wrinkles that we sometimes see in older women because they don't have the, uh, the hairs as anchors within the skin. So there might be very, very deep wrinkles here. So you need some more uh, treatments. Or we have to face the situation of scars and scars always uh, differs a little bit in their reaction. We set on the, set on the uh, wound healing reaction that we need to have uh, to get rid of the scars. And this differs a bit from patient to patient. We need that we need, know that we need more uh, treatments for scars, for deep acne scars, for example, than for the tiny wrinkles under the eyes. Maybe five to 10 or so, but it differs from patients to patients a bit. When the patient leaves the office, they have a little edema, so they're always happy because they'll get rid of the wrinkles directly. 
after 24 to 48 hours they have a little redness around their eyes and if you really treat it with uh, ointments there is no scaling, no not significant scaling, maybe a bit but not so much. And we see the, after the healing has been done by the skin, we see results as early as about two to three weeks. And this is all the, the time period that we wait for the next treatment. So we make the, the, the treatment plan, let's say within five to six months, if we are uh, using the device six times, so every month uh, we get the patient gets a treatment, we always wait until the healing has finished and then we do the next treatment to get good results.